Hey guys, this is uh, M24 Tom. Um, what I thought I'd do today is just show you how to set up a set up a task in XCSOR. Um, so sitting here on the ground in Minden, XCSOR is hooked up, and let's just go right into. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got your list of um, waypoints set up. So under System, go into Site Files, and Waypoints right here. Um, uh, I want to use this uh, this first one, which is sort of a list of local uh, race turn points. Um, so I'll select that, close, close. Okay, so now I set up a new task. Hit nav, task. Uh, I'm going to hit this. Oops, manage is what I want to click on, sorry. Do new task, new task. Um, click on turn points. I'm going to add turn points. Okay, so now there's that list of, um, this is a list of um, turn points that are local to the Minden area. So I'm going to scroll down and put in my first uh, turn point, or my starting, my start point. So I'll use a northeast start. Okay, and I'm going to add turn point. And I want Mount Raw. Select that one. Add turn point. And this one, I want Mount Seagull. Okay. That. And then my last one is going to be back to the start. There we go. That one. And then I'll just say make finish. And then just click on manage. And now I can save it so that the next day I don't have to do this again um, if I don't make it today. So um, just call this first triangle and okay and so now if I browse yeah there it is so I just that and click on load to load it and now I close this close this and look it shows up right there so you can see um, let's see if I can get the pan to work yeah so that'll be my um, That'll be my first task. So uh, I'm going to do a longer video of me trying to actually fly this. Um, so last week I went out and tried to fly that um, triangle and pretty much made it. Um, had a good day and learned a lot. And when I got back, I sent my IGC file to our local SSA judge, and he gave me a couple pieces of feedback on it. Um, he said that uh, I didn't uh, really cross uh, the start and finish lines. Um, and what I did on the turn points was okay, but you know, if you don't go around the turn point, you lose a kilometer on each one. Um, and then he just did sort of defined um, the turn points a little bit more. So, you know, here's the um, here's the stuff from the SSA um, website, uh, the rules. And if I go down here to this observation zone and uh, 1.2.6. So you want a cylinder having a 500 meter radius and unlimited height centered on the turn point or a sector uh, a quadrant having unlimited radius and height with its apex at the turn and oriented symmetrical to and remote from the bisector of the inbound and outbound legs. And then for the start and finish line, um, he wants, uh, they want uh, a one kilometer line centered on the start or finish point. Um, so you have to cross from, um, you know, from the not, from the, so that's a perpendicular line to the first leg and you have to cross from outside you know, across. So um, the way I set up XC SOAR before, whoops, um, is if you recall, look at our task here, I set up with cylinders. Um, so we can change this to be, uh, uh, help us out a lot better. So uh, what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to click on edit point. I'm going to change the type for the one. I'm going to make it a start line, select, and it's going to, um, gate width um, half a nautical mile. So that's, um, you know, that's basically a kilometer, right? So let's see, convert. Convert one kilometer to nautical miles. Yeah, so a half nautical mile, all right? Um, 
So that's easy. So it changes that similar a little bit. And then the finish line, we're going to do the same. Edit, change type, finish line. OK. Now for these turn points, I'm going to change them to the BGA fixed course sector. So British rules, any point within a half a kilometer, so that's 500, 500 meters, or 20 kilometers of a 90 degree sector scored from the center. So that's going to give us, I think, a very close to what exactly we want here. So um, close, do the same for Mount Seagull, edit point, change type, select, close, close, close. Okay, so now it's giving me, but if I go here and zoom in, so you can see that's very much what we want. So you want to circle around the turn point. So either we go hit that circle, um, and if we go on the inside uh, of the circle from raw, we're going to lose a kilometer. But if we go around it, um, um, we'll get the full credit. And if we, for some reason, get like blown way down, uh, way to the north here up by Pinnon and then came around the other side, um, and we never were within 500 meters of the turn point, we would still get, uh, we'd still get credit. And, uh, you know, and XESOR would move along to the next turn point as expected. So um, that's just a little bit uh, more info here. Um, Thanks for watching and uh, fly safe.